Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial covers e filing the Illinois 941 forms in AMS payroll. This process will submit the Illinois 941 data directly through AMS payroll to the state. To begin, the payer ABC payroll has been created and the payer's data has been entered and verified. Prior to e filing the Illinois 941 for the first time, you will need to get the following ID numbers from the IRS. An EFIN and ETIN. Please allow at least 45 business days to receive these IDs. An EFIN, which is an electronic filing identification number, is a six digit identification number signed by the IRS to accepted applicants for participation in IRS e file. The second ID number is an ETIN. An ETIN which is an electronic transmitter identification number, is a five-digit identification number signed by the IRS to a participant in IRS e-file that performs the activity of transmission. Please refer to IRS Publication 3112 for more information. You will also need to file the Illinois 8633B form prior to e-filing the 941 form for the first time. Once you are approved, you will receive a password to submit a test to the test system. Part of the 8633B form is setting up an Illinois signature. Fill out and file the Illinois 8633B form with Illinois to assign a six-digit Illinois signature code. The code can be both letters and numbers, no symbols. The submission instructions are located on the form. If you are a reporting agent for multiple companies, those companies will need to fill out the Illinois 8655 form prior to you transmitting Illinois 941 forms for them. The 8655 form is for the reporting agent's records only. Once the state approves your Illinois 8633B form, they will provide you a password that will give you access to the test system. You will receive an Illinois password for the test system once the 8633B form is approved. Once you have submitted the Illinois 8633B form and it is approved, you will receive an email from the Illinois Department of Revenue that will include your password for the test site. Enter the test password on the preparer's screen in AS Payroll. Follow the same instructions as submitting a production file. Except select test when prompted and the Illinois 941 will be submitted. Finish printing the state quarterly return and make sure that you save the Illinois 941 form as a PDF file. After it has been accepted, you will follow the instructions and email the Illinois 941 PDF file to the contact at the state and ask them to review it against the test submission. Once verified, you will be emailed the production password so that you can start submitting the Illinois 941 for reporting purposes. Make sure to replace the test password with the production password on the preparer's screen. To begin, open the payer in AMS Payroll. And select Forms and then Z, Print State Quarterly Return. You will be able to print the Illinois information for your records. Select the printer mode and print preview and click Next. Select the quarter. Enter or edit the general information as needed. Click Preparer. On the Preparer screen, make sure to fill in the preparer's information. You must have an EFIN and ETIN from the IRS and the Illinois signature that was assigned when the Illinois 8633 form. Enter the password that was assigned by Illinois. Enter the test password and then once the test is approved, enter the production password. Click back. Click OK. Enter or edit the signer information and click OK. Enter the information as needed. Click OK. Select yes or no. Verify the liability announcer correct and click OK. At this point, select test if you are submitting a test file. Otherwise, click yes. You can choose to include the state withholding payment with the submission. In order to include the payments, 
You must set up the banking information on the pair's check, maker screen. Click Yes. Make sure all fields are filled out and correct, then click OK. Your Illinois 941 information has been submitted. Finish printing the state quarterly returns as needed. The next step in the process is to check the status of the information that was submitted. To check the status, in AMS Payroll, select eFile and then Illinois 941 status. You will see the batch listed. The second column will list the current status of the transmission. The first status you will receive is filed. Then you will receive either in accepted or rejected status. Accepted means there is nothing more for you to do. Illinois has accepted your submission. Rejected indicates that you will need to correct the errors and file again. To update the status of the transmission, highlight the submission and then click Update Status. This ends the Illinois 941 e-filing tutorial. For more information please review the help files. Please review the frequently asked questions on our website. Or refer to the help files for additional information. Technical support can be reached by email, fax, chat or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 etc. program. Have a great day.